Greetings, YouTube. I am an organ donor. My wife is an organ donor. My father has made arrangements to donate his entire body to science. I am a full, firm believer in organ donation. So let's face it. Once you're dead, why do you need those organs? You don't. Someone else, however, can. I like to think that someday, my heart may beat in someone else's chest. My lungs may breathe air for someone else. My kidneys, my liver, may help someone else stay clean and healthy. And even though I do wear glasses, I'm sure that someone who needs corneas isn't going to mind having to wear them. And as science progresses, more and more of our bodies will become harvestable and useful. I've considered donating my entire body like my father has. Like it, I have absolutely no attachment whatsoever to, the, to a dead person. It's just a shell as far as I'm concerned. It's a hunk of meat. And when they're done with it, they cremate it, free of charge, and then deliver the remains to your family. And since I plan on being cremated anyway, it means I might be able to get my family out of a cost. I have to look into how much paperwork's involved. <laughs> I don't like paperwork. But we have far too many people in this nation, in the world in general, who are waiting for organs, and they're not going to get them in time. I realize that some religious beliefs forbid organ donation, either giving or receiving, and that's sad. But the vast majority of people don't have any kind of religious prohibitions on this, and yet they take their organs with them, which is also sad. Don't take your organs with you. Give them to someone else. Because when you're gone, you don't need them anymore. Someone else will. You could save half a dozen lives. Increase the life expectancy of half a dozen people. I work with a woman. Her father has someone else's heart. He's been alive, I think, for almost a decade now with someone else's heart. All that time would have been gone if he'd died. He wouldn't have seen his granddaughter grow up and be 17. She would have a memory of a seven-year-old saying goodbye to her grandfather. Now, she has lifelong memories. She will hold those forever, because he's still alive. And he might be around for another 20 years, who knows? I work with the man who just recently had new heart valves put in. His heart valves were harvested from an animal, mind you, but they're still donated by somebody else. Someday, the heart valves from other people will be, about, will be available. At the moment, it's harder to do. It's not really worth the effort, I don't believe. And of course, I've already talked about the other xenotransplantation options that are, that are just around the corner, which will, of course, help us overcome the lack of organs. But until then, human organs are the best shot. And if you work at it, you can be healthy, and your organs become more valuable. Because at the moment, my numbers, my cholesterol, and my AC1s, and all that stuff, they're better than my doctors. I may have high cholesterol and blood pressure and be diabetic, but since I worked at it, all my numbers are great. My blood sugar is normal, my blood pressure is good, my AC1 is a 5. I have no idea if you know what that means, but it's decent. My doctor's is, only, is a 5.6, mine's lower. I thought that was funny. She's a tiny, skinny little woman. But organ donation is important. I don't think it gets enough in, in play in America. We don't advertise enough about it. We don't uh, prolistize enough, I guess. There isn't enough propaganda for it. I think it's the kind of thing that we should be talking about to kids when they're still in high school. The things that should be discussed in college. We need to get this idea into people's heads at a young age so that they won't think anything of it the next time they renew their license. They'll just go Tick! and agree to be an organ donor. Because you can save someone's life. And it's not going to hurt you at all. You're going to be gone. So if you can save somebody, and it is not going to cost you a moment of time or effort or money, why wouldn't you do it? 